the actual piece was made on a 35 millimeter film. Um, an example is here. Yeah. So the the image that you can see now on the screen is from this stripe here, and the other layer of the holes is like this. Yeah. So it's like hole scan scan the film, make the next hole scan again, and repeat that like hundred times. There are different like stripes. So I scanned, not like the, the classic photographs with, where we have the frames next to each other. So I've tried to scan this one and then a little bit and a little bit and a little bit like, so I can overlap the frames because it's one continuum fra frame, let's say. So I didn't want to have like the classical photographs, which is like frame, 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 like six photos in one stripe. It's 35 millimeter uh, colored negative. Uh, ISO 200 and I think it's, this is an Agfa. I mean like I didn't do any editing. It's like exactly as this, just scanned. The different, the only thing is that, you know, it's a negative film. So when I scan it, it will scan, it will scan it as a negative or as a slide. So the colors will never be the actual colors. The reds will be greens, the greens will be red, the opposite colors and when I scan it as um, a slide, then the colors completely change. But I, I really like this um, process because it reminded me the astronomers and how they use radio telescopes to receive waves and transform and translate the information into a machine and then create like the colors, the spectrums and everything. So I thought it, it's I mean, like it's not the same, I cannot really compare the two things, but it's like how technology will alter our perception of things. It's like, it might be in reality, we might think that something is red, but when you see it digitally, it will be negative, the negative color. So I found that really, really interesting. And the other interesting thing is that for some reason that I, I'm not really aware at the moment, when I scanned like organic materials, like the, the rose petals or yes. the spices, they turned out blue as a negative or brown as a slide. It didn't capture the negative color of the yellow petals. So I found that like extremely interesting because I'm not really sure what's going on when to use organic materials to scan them and how this information is being translated into the digital world. And also it's, 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 it's not just the chance, it's like I'm using different chemicals like perfumes or hand sanitizers, like now that's in fashion. Um, and they react in different way with different like paints and stuff. So for example, this one here, I don't, you cannot really see it, but that was not how I made it. It became like this after two days. Yeah. So if I scan it now, I will have completely different um, result of the images that I scanned in, when I made it. So it's the chance and also it's, you know, I've played the video. I wanted initially the video to be played on a loop because it's quiet and torture for me to watch the same thing again and again. Uh, you have like the order shapes in, a, in the same speed, uh, but you know, the chaotic painting, painted like film is in a different speeds every time. So when you watch it again and again, I mean, I felt like a torture, but the, 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 the process was, was torture. Like in order to do that, the, this took me eight hours. Yes, yeah, yeah. So even the process is a torture and watching it again and again and again. But I mean, for me, it probably represents how I feel about life. I'm probably a, bit, a little bit pessimistic because I think that we suffer in life. So yeah, I think that's how I made the video and how my feelings went through into the piece.